All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Brooklyn Bulls expansion franchise now. I apologize for not uploading. I think it was the past three days, three or four days. It's been pretty ridiculous. For some reason, my PC, whenever I record gameplay of 2K or Madden, OPS just freaks out and it records at like one frame a second. It's like encoding overload, something like that. I really don't know the issue, but I have recorded or at least attempted to record a Gerald Johnson in my career where I dropped 60 points on the new look Nets. I recorded a Brooklyn Bulls expansion franchise where we played the Patriots for the lead in the division. We lost by one point and, and ended up missing out on a playoffs by a game. Yeah, so I, I've lost a lot, of, a lot of content, a lot of good content. So let, let's hope I end up figuring it out when we can get back to normal videos. But for now, we're just going to go through the offseason for the Brooklyn Bulls. We did go 8-8 eight and eight to finish the season. The Patriots went 10-6. and six. They went on a three-game win streak, I believe, to end the season. So, it sucks. I'll show you the rest of um, our last couple games, if it lets me. Um, okay, so this is the preseason, regular season. All right, so if we go to the Patriots game, which is where we the video is going to be. We lost to the Patriots by one. We lost to the Bucks by seven. And then we won our last two games convincingly. So, if we just won these two games... We would have made. We would have ended up making the playoffs at ten and six, but it is what it is. What are you gonna do? We barely missed out. Um, I'll show you the playoff standings. If we go to the AFC, you can see everyone who made it in. The Titans were eight and eight. The Steelers were eight and eight, and we were eight and eight. We all missed out because the Ravens went nine and seven. So that's tragic. The three wild card spots went to what? Chiefs, Texans, Pats. Yeah, so it went to the Raiders, Browns, and Ravens. So the AFC North had three playoff teams, nearly four. Nearly almost every single team in the AFC North made the playoffs. But we were behind the Titans and Steelers and the Ravens, so it would have been a long shot for us, us to make it in. Retirement-wise, I believe the only players for our team retired that was Phillip Rivers. Um, Des Bryant retires. I'm not really too concerned. AFC East, yeah, Phillip Rivers was the only one that retired. Um, there weren't other like big names that retired, so we are here in free agent um free agency. Now, one thing with Madden is after free agency or sometimes during it, there is a glitch where every single team, including yours, will have negative cap space, even though you they don't. So if that happens, I will have to turn cap space off. So that sucks, but I will still keep it realistic. Now, for our team, what we need, we still got our quarterback in um Justin Fields. Uh, we got our running backs in Marlon Mack and Kylan Hill. We have our receivers. We still got AB who regressed a lot. But we do have Waddle or Waddell and St. Brown as the backup. So we really don't need any receivers. And matter of fact, um, Waddle is an X factor. I might slide him over AB over here. Okay, oh, maybe not. I don't know what the hell just happened. Um, is that There it is. Yeah, so there we go. Or I might put him at the slot. I don't know. Our O-line is already under contract. We're fine. Tight end, though. That might be a spot we look for in the offensive end. Other than that, the offense is perfectly fine. Defensively, we need to look for a middle linebacker and some corners. And that's really it. So really, our needs right now in free agency is a middle linebacker, cornerbacks, and maybe a better tight end if we can get one. So free agency. Let's do some free agents here. Um, top free agent is Fred Warner, who is a middle linebacker. And he has nobody bidding for him. Probably because of how much he wants. Yeah, he wants a lot of money. But he could really help our team. So I'm going to think about signing him. J.J. Watt, he wants too much money. We don't need a left end. Um, right guard, Wyatt Teller. I'm not willing to spend the money. So let's look at cornerbacks. Um, There's not there's not great cornerbacks here. One year, Jason Verrett only wants 5 mil. That could be someone we grab. Nikhil Roby Coleman. We're looking for cheap cornerbacks at this point. I mean, really. We're really looking for cheap cornerbacks. Maybe younger quarterbacks, cornerbacks that won't regress, like Emmanuel Mosley. Um, I do see Jason Verrett. I like Jason Verrett, former Charger. I'm going to... Three years, 17 mil. That doesn't seem like too much. So, no, we'll, we'll offer um, Teron Johnson, I think his name is. We'll offer him a contract. And you know what? We're going to go all out. Seeing that he has no offers, we're going to offer Fred Warner. Warner? Yeah, Warner, a contract. Um, There we go for 103 mil over six years. That's a lot of money. That's all, that's all our money. We only got 8 mil left. But I guarantee we're going to get both players. I guarantee it. And we get both. So we get our star player in Fred Warner. And we get a solid cornerback 
in Teron Johnson. Um, free agency again. Really, I don't think there's anything else. We just need a backup quarterback and a what? Baker Mayfield's free agent, and he's going to the Colts. He's not even going back to the Browns. Wow. Okay, let's see what they have for tight ends. Zach Ertz. David Njoku. I don't think we had the money for David Njoku, though. Jared Cook. He's 35. Do we have the money for David Njoku? We do actually have the money for Njoku. Ooh. It's between him or Hertz. I think Njoku's cheaper. Three years, four... Njoku might be cheaper. Njoku's actually cheaper than Hertz. Does he, have all... he has offers from the Packers, though. I'm going to offer Njoku a contract. Uh, I want him to, you know, want our contract more than the Packers. So there we go. Offer him four years, twenty around 26 mil. And we are above the Packers. We're most likely going to get Njoku. We could probably trade Jack Doyle or Hernan. Maybe for maybe a sixth or fourth round pick. Um, do we get him? We do get David Njoku. So our team just got a lot better. We got a new cornerback. We got a, a star player in Fred Warner. And we got a new tight end in David Njoku. All right, since we, you know, kind of took um, Njoku from the Packers, they're interested in Jack Doyle. So can we get a fourth round pick for him? Of course we can. I probably could have got a lot more, actually, now that I think about it. But the deal's done. The, the deal's done. That should clear up about five more mil in cap space. But, you know, it's Madden, so... Yeah, no, it didn't It didn't really clear it up at all. You saw how it said, um, I think, 23 mil on the trade screen, but we only have 8 mil. Yeah. Thanks, Madden. I do want a backup quarterback, though, just in case. You never know. So we don't need someone high, um, high overall. Like, Jalen Hurts, he doesn't develop good in um, what you call it, Madden. So that makes sense. Dwayne Haskins, Tarah Taylor... Um, I'm not going to be too picky here. I might go Mark... No, not Marcus Mariota. Jacoby Brissett. Three years, 19 mil. I don't want... I don't need a long-term backup quarterback. Yeah, you want a lot of money for freaking three years. I mean, one year. For a backup quarterback? No, I'm good. I'm going to give you a cheap contract. Like, there's no need for you to be making so much as a backup. Um, we'll give him one mil signing bonus. And we'll go... I am lowballing him, but like I said, he's a backup quarterback. Yeah, 21. We might get him. I don't know. <laughs> but nonetheless, let's see. I, I'm not sure if we're going to get him. He doesn't have any other offers, and I guess not. Well, up sucks to suck. We'll just sign one in free agency. We're going to scout players before the draft. Um, We already have some scouted. Yeah, we actually have a decent amount scouted. All right. Um, So what are we looking for here? Mainly old linemen. I'm not sure if I'm going to draft an old lineman with my first round pick. Yeah, no. There's not, yeah, there's not great ones available at all. Um, yep, nope. All right. Um, right tackle, there's a second round pick here. It's not bad, actually. His combine score wasn't bad. He is very bad. Um, fullback, that's fine. I don't really need one. Wide receivers, I think we're set at left tackle. What are we, defensive tackle. Um, there's some solid ones here. I could finish him. Uh... There's some pretty solid defensive tackles here, so... It, it, okay, these are starting to be misses over here. He's a solid one. Left outside linebacker. Interesting draft class. It's not a great draft class. Not at all. Um, cornerback is really... That's the last one we kind of need. So, there we go. And we do have an extra... I think it was a fourth round pick we just got from the pack. He is really bad. He is really bad. All right. Time for the NFL draft. I'm going to look at my roster right before just to see who our main players are. Our offense is at 85 overall now. Let's see. J.J. Watt's still a free agent. If he's a free agent when the season starts and I can afford him, I'm signing him. I'm sorry. Um, to go to Brissett, we still have a, the offer. So, league signings, Wyatt Tell. It's not really big signings. It wasn't a big free agency at all. Baker goes to the Colts, though. Which is very interesting. The Browns lose their quarterback after making the playoffs. And he goes to the Colts to replace Phillip Rivers, I guess. Interesting. Alright, let me look at my team and see what our main needs are. I was seeing O-line, but the O-line isn't great. Actually, no, our right side of our O-line isn't that bad. Yeah, it's really not that bad. Um, So if we go over here to defense, it is defensive tackle. Yeah, our second defensive tackle is a um, 68 overall. And a second cornerback, and that's really it. So a D tackle and a cornerback, and maybe a right, and yeah, some linebackers. 
right, left outside linebackers, a cornerback, and D tackle. So defense is really what we need. So we're going to start drafting. We're probably going to have a low first round pick. No, I'm going to pause it. Yeah, we have. The, oh, no, we have the 10th pick. I'm, that's solid, actually. For an 8-8 eight eight record, I'm just barely missing out the playoffs. I'll take it. So is that even our pick? We have the 14th pick also. This might not even be our pick. We might have traded. I don't know. I forget. It's been a while. Let's make our selection, though. Um, do we draft a corner here, a linebacker? There is this dude, Ricky Gardner. He, besides vertical and 40-yard dash, he is probably the best cornerback here. And the rest are just offensive players that we don't need. This is D-tackle, but we can just grab him with the 14th pick. I think we're going to grab that cornerback. His grades, his combine grades are great. I think I'm going to grab this. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's see. Hopefully, it's a good pick. And 75 overall, good pick. He's got normal dev rate, though. So that isn't a good... No, that's not a good pick. He's only got normal dev rate. That's bad, actually. That that was not good. All right. Yeah, so this is our normal pick. So I don't know where we got that first round pick from. It's been a while. So let's pick a player. I might pick that D tackle. Let me look, though, at the linebackers. Left outside linebacker. They're terrible. Right outside linebacker. This one's projected to go first round, but I'm not. I didn't scout him. A 20-yard shuffle, 3-cone, and 40-yard dash. He's second, but the rest he's not great. This one's also first round. He's not very good scouting combine wise. Corner. He's second round pick though. Mid first. I'm not gonna no. I think I'm gonna hold on to him. Um, do I go with this right outside linebacker? Do I just go balls to the wall here? Oh, D tackle. Look at D tackle. Yeah, there's this dude. Alex Knox. Um Do I just go with it? I'm going to go with it and hope. 76 overall, but he's got... He's fifth. This draft class sucks. He's still got normal dev rate. He'll come in and start, but I want better than normal um, development rate. That's just not good. That's not good at all. Oh, we got our second round pick here. Maybe We're probably going to grab a corner here. Pretty sure we have all of our picks. So, let's see. Halfbacks. We don't need a halfback. Um, left outside linebacker. You're all terrible. This dude's still here. I'm probably going to grab him. Dwayne Cook. Yeah, I'm going to grab Dwayne Cook. We need a right outside linebacker. 67 overall. This draft class sucks. I am contemplating trading the rest of my picks. This draft class is just not good. Oh my god. It's auto-generated, by the way, so. He. He, 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 he. Big player. It's not going great. I think everyone I've scouted up, no, this wide receiver is still here. And he's a first round talent. First round talent, but he's projected fourth. I'm just going to grab him just because he's a 75 overall. He's ranked 10th, but once again, normal dev, um, dev trait. Yeah, I think the rest of my picks might be traded, to be honest. I might be trading them. Review offers. It's all going to be for just other picks. Yeah. Yeah. If I can find a trade for a player, I'll let you know. All right. There's a chance we have a deal here. Um, I went to the trade block to look for right outside linebackers. And I think his name is Jalen Ferguson. What did I just do? I just hit a button. I pulled up the notification tab. Didn't know that existed. All right. View player card. Um, yeah. Jalen Ferguson. He's got normal dev rate. Six, um, 76 overall. Um, but he's a power rusher. And he's a scheme fit. So you know what? That would fill our right outside line. And we just traded 4th, 5th, and 6th round picks for Jalen Ferguson. That leaves us with our 7th round pick. I'll just sim to that pick, and I'll pick whoever's there. Um, so he's he might start for us. I don't know. We still got, um I think it's Shaquem? Or it's just Sha I think it's Shaquem Griffin um, at that position. So this is our last pick. Um, I'm probably just going to pick best available. Um, it's a QB. Do I have anyone scouted? No. Uh, yeah, the QB is the best available. I don't see a reason to pick a QB. We got a right tackle here. I'll just pick him. 59 overall. Yeah, I kind of figured that. And that's going to do it. This was an awful draft. <laughs> this was an awful draft. So I want to see who was the best player to come out of this draft. 
Draft is over. Let's go to the draft recap. We're going to see our best players. We didn't pick anyone. Everyone had a normal dev trait for us. Solid overalls. Like, the first three rounds, was it? Or no, first two rounds because I had two first-round picks. Yeah. We picked a D-tackle and a cornerback. Then we picked a wide receiver because he was best available. So, these three picks were good, like, in this draft class-wise. But they all have normal dev traits. So, can I go to NFL? Yes, I can. And the best overall was a 79 overall. Um, I don't think it says his dev rate. He, two right ends. Both right ends were the highest. Um, can I not... Can I see his hidden? It's hidden. So he was he was the first. No, he yeah, he was the first pick, and this was the fourth pick. I'm guessing he has a hidden dev trait. Yep. The sixth pick also has a hidden dev trait. Okay. Alright, I see. But they're all offensive players. Like we didn't need them. So that's what sucks. They're all players we didn't need. Yeah, like none of these players. This D tackle is what we would have needed. And he has normal dev traits. So you know what? We didn't do that bad. We we really didn't do that bad. So we already have draft recap, adjust roster. This team's looking great. This is a playoff team. This is 100% a playoff team. There is no doubt in my mind. 84 overall. We went 8-8 eight and eight last season. I say we go 10-6 and six this season. I'm just calling it. Offense looks great. We just added Njoku. Defense-wise, it doesn't look bad. We have Shaquem Griffin. Um, we got Roche starting now. Our linebacker core has good backups. I guess Ferguson's going to come off the bench, just in case, because, you know, Madden with injuries. Um, special teams, we don't really care about. Um, slot receivers, Jamison Crowder, I want that to be Waddle or Waddell. I, I'm going to call him Waddell. I'm going to keep calling him Waddle, though. Um, third down running back, I want to be Kylan Hill, even though he's a 58. Power back, yeah, Marlon, Marlon Mack. Um, other than that, that's pretty solid, honestly. Kick returner, is that Hill? Yes, it is Hill. Um... Yeah, that's, our team's looking really good. I'm going to sit in the preseason because we're not playing the preseason. The next episode, we'll play our first game against the Patriots because that that's going to end up being a rivalry here. So I wonder how well we did in the preseason. I'm actually interested. We beat the Chiefs in the last game of the preseason. So I went to stats by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Um, nope. Okay. Schedule. Um, team schedule. Preseason, we went we went one and three, one and three. Two of those games were pretty close, but one and three. See, seems about right. Leave a like you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.